Today I wanted to talk about how I managed to get Alan Wake 2 to work with the FSR 2, FSR 3 mod. Um, I spent hours on this and it took me quite a while to track down exactly what the problem was. But I'll go, go through the steps that I've done to get this working. Firstly, you will need to be on the latest AMD drivers, not the latest Lenovo ones. This is because recently Epic released a new uh, patch to Alan Wake 2 and this doesn't seem to work with the Lenovo Legion AMD dri drivers. So before you even start, upgrade to the latest AMD drivers. I would also recommend getting uh, Alan Wake 2 running. Just check that it's running before you start installing the FSR2, FSR3 mod. The next step then is to download from LukeFZ's um, Discord, the relevant files. So the ones I've got here are version 0.7.3 and that's the latest as at uh, the 27th of December. So I believe it's FSR 2.2 that's implemented in Alan Wake 2. So if I go into this file and just select all the files here and copy them and then on my drive, I have Alan Wake 2 installed in the root of C. Uh, this may be different on your device. Uh, you'll have to look in your Epic Launcher, figure out where you installed it. But go into that directory. And the, it should be the directory that has... I'm not seeing it marked here. Um, oh, there we are, right at, the two, uh, right at the top. It's got the Alan Wake 2 application. So this is where we want to install, uh, to copy those files. So here I've right clicked on the desktop and I'm just going to use paste. And because I've already done this, um, it's saying the destination has five files with the same names. You won't have this. So I'll just click to replace the files. Now there's another step um, and this stopped me for ages. Basically the game would start, it would show all the partners that were involved in writing the game and then it would just crash. And it turns out that um, this FSR2, FSR3 mod doesn't seem to like the Epic Games overlay. So to get around that um, you want to go to your C drive, Program Files x86. So make sure it's the one with x86 because you also have Program Files. Uh, double click on that to go in and here Epic Games, Launcher, Portal, um, Extras, Overlay. Now there's two files or there will be two files in your folder that aren't in mine. Um, the recommendation is actually to rename them. Um, what I did was I just deleted them, but they will be the ones that have a .exe extension on the end, that's .exe, or if you're not seeing it, file extensions, it will have application on, on the end here, uh, uh, in the type. So if you want to do the rename, just hold um, the touchpad until this menu clicks up, and then you can do show more options. And then one of the options should be down here called Rename. And if you click that, and then you can bring the, the mouse cursor up into here and just type something like Disabled in front of the uh, file name. And then just click off and that will rename the file. Um, for me, I wasn't bothered about having the exe file. I don't think I ever want um, you know, to have the, the extra facilities that that provides in the game, so I just deleted them. Um, for clarity, I believe the files are EOS Overlay Renderer dash Win64 dash Shipping dot exe, and there's another one similar name, but instead of Win64, it's Win32. So again, it's EOS Overlay Renderer hyphen Win32 hyphen Shipping Shipping dot exe. So those are the two that you want to either rename or delete. So if I now um, come back out of this and I shall start up Alan Wake. Oh yes, um, 
one of the things you'll also need to do for Alan Wake, if I go into my Epic Games Launcher, and if we go into my library, Alan Wake 2, and if you click the three dots, click Manage, and down at the bottom there's something called Launch Options. Um, let me just scroll down to it. So if you click Launch Options, um, what you can see here is I've got a, a dash and then no mem check. So that is to turn off the memory check that the game has to ensure that you've got a full 16 gig of memory available to the game. Because we're sharing our memory with a VRAM, it won't see that. So we have to add this um, flag to the launch options so that it, it won't try and do that memory check. And you'll know if it's not got this because when you start the game, it will complain that it doesn't have 16 gigs. So after all that's done, we can now start up the game. So here you can see this is extra window, an extra window comes up and it shows you that um, the mod is hooking itself into the game. So I'll just hit continue and let the game load. This goes on for a bit, it's just where I was in the game. Hopefully this won't go on for too much longer. If it does, I'll, I'll, I'll oh, there we go. So what I'll do is I'll show you how you enable the add-on in the game now. Um, it's slightly different than some other games. So you'll notice in this, um, in graphics, rather than FSR2, we want to select DLSS. Um, this is hooking into the DLSS side of things, but it is using FSR3. And um, with this version of the mod, we can actually click FS, uh, the DLSS frame generation. So I do that. And um, I'll show you the rest of the settings while I'm, while I'm here. Uh, sorry, let me just... Okay, so as usual, motion blur, film grain turned off. And we're on low settings, apart from a couple of mediums. I guess where there's no option to go to low, um, we pick a medium. Ray tracing off. And at the moment... I'm running with um, balance mode. Now what I should do as well is now the game's started, I will start up my uh, overlay so we can see the frames per second. So if we just wait a second for that. 
So let's go back into the game. So that's probably something I should mention as well. It does say that this game doesn't really like performance overlays. Um, Reva, you know, Reva Tuna Statistics Server, uh, I'm not sure that's the correct name. It's not meant to like that, but I, uh, I, I start it up after the game started and it seems to be okay. And there we are, we've got frames per second coming up here. So if I swing the camera, I'm not sure it's it's probably a bit dark to see, but what I'm getting on the, the main character is there's a slight halo kind of ghost effect on him. But I mean, I, I've played this game with this add-on and you you barely notice it. The game's so gripping um, and the things you're trying to do, it just sort of disappears. Unfortunately, I think I've just got to a stage in the game where it's not going to be a, a true reflection of the frames per second. It, it will not be doing 411 FPS. This is just like a live movie at the moment. So let's try and skip then. Okay, so we're seeing, you know, a very large frame rate. Um, this wasn't what I was seeing when I was in the wooded area um, as the FBI agent. Um, I think we're in a quite enclosed space. So this is looking a, you know, a bit generous in the fr uh, frames per second side of things. I don't know. Can you see? Can you see the halo effect if I spin, spin it around? It's it's a lot. When I first installed the mod a couple of versions ago, it didn't seem, it was very noticeable, I should say. Hey! I think I've been locked in! Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Great. So let me just check what um, I'm sure I should be at 800 yes 1200 by 800 and maybe if it's getting as high a frame rate as that maybe I could step up to quality yeah so that's some um, it's still very nice, uh, but I'm probably not going to show you the gameplay here. I don't think it's representative in general of what you would see in the game. It might just be this particular section, but um, it was more just to show you this is how to get Alan Wake 2 working with the FSR 2, FSR 3 mod by Luke FZ. Um, I will put a link in the description down below for where to um, get that mod. As I've said before, it is paywalled currently. Um, you will have to subscribe to his Patreon for around five US dollars or five euros, five pounds. I think it depends on your area, um, plus whatever sales tax for your regional area. Um, but if you want to get this mod and play with it, you will have to do that. Okay, so thank you for watching.